So, you just spent two months rent on a new drone. What do you do? Throw that bad boy in 4K, put it up in the air, and send it over Niagara Falls. You're getting like the cleanest, most cinematic shots ever. You're going over the falls. You're going under the falls. You're in the falls. You're probably not in the falls. You're like, yo, this is gonna look so good on the big screen. So you jet back home, pop in the SD card, and... Well, today, I'm gonna show you how to take footage like that and turn it into footage like this. Now the reason your playback might be choppy to begin with is that your computer can't actually handle the high quality playback of this drone footage. What we're going to do to fix this is we're going to change the video codec and by doing so we're changing the language of the video so that the computer can more easily read it. Now I convert all of my footage using a program called Edit Ready and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All you have to do is take your raw drone footage and you drop it in this little import box you go over here to preset and we're going to change it to ProRes. Um, underneath that you choose your destination file, I'm just going to do desktop. And then your destination file name, it's a source file name. And so if you leave it in source file name, it's going to replace your original files. Depending on whether or not you want to do that, you go over here and you say auto increment. And this is going to have your file name and like a one or a zero or something like that. So it's not actually replacing your original file. So after that, just click convert all. Well, let's open up the file and see how that plays back. So heads up, when you're choosing ProRes, your file size is gonna grow a little bit. So it's gonna be larger than the original file most likely. This is just sort of a cost that you have to pay to have this kind of smooth playback. Um, if anybody knows a better way, I know some people can use H.264 on their computers. I tried that for myself. I was still getting choppy playback for whatever reason. So kind of just mess around with it and see what works for you. ProRes is an almost guarantee. Most machines run ProRes without a problem. And that's it. That's how to take your choppy, crappy footage you shot on your Mavic 2 and convert it into that buttery smooth cinematic masterpiece you were looking for. As for the color grading of the video, I didn't actually show how to do that. If any of you want to see how I actually colored that footage, leave a comment down below and maybe I'll make a future video on it. Until then, peace out and thanks for watching.